So in this week's Photoshop tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a very simple Horizon logo in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at retailpro.com. So in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a very simple Horizon logo in Photoshop. We're going to work with a few text layers and some shapes. And wait, if you are too lazy to create the shapes yourself, wait no longer. Go and have a look down below. In the description is a link where you can download everything from the Tronix Design Media Package. So yeah, if you're clever and not lazy, then you can also have a look at the tutorial and just create it yourself. Enough of the talking, let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop in our lace palette here in the right hand side, you guys get to see already a group here, which is called background. So we can open this and right away you get to see three different layers here. So the first one is just a black canvas. Again, I've just added a black background here. Then on top of that, an image with a background, which you'll also find again in the Tronix Design Media Package. And then on top of that, we've added here a color look. Now, let's quickly go back to the image background. I've set the opacity here to 75%, so it's just a bit darker. Let me show you, this is how it normally looks. Okay, so 75, somewhere there, that is good. And on top of that, a color look with the gradient selected, a blue and a dark purple here, just to get the color tint. Also, I've set the blending options of this to color. Okay, so that's the first step as well. If you are completely new to this, have a look again on the channel it is a playlist for beginners where you learn more about how to create backgrounds. Okay, let's minimize this and get right away into the logo. So first of all, what I will do is create some guidelines. So first guideline is again a vertical 50% guideline. So open new guides here under view, new guides, and then under vertical, I'm going to write here five, zero, and percentage, so it's 50%, hit OK. Right away we have a guideline in the center. Now, I've calculated a few more guidelines that we kind of end up with a triangle. So you would have to experiment a little bit with your canvas size, or you can copy mine here on 1080p canvas size. Basically it is, let's go to image. So you guys can also see it over here. Let me go pixels, 1090, 20 by 1080. That is my current canvas size. Okay, then as well what I will do is go back to new guide again under view and we'll first of all now with horizontally going to write here 20%. Okay, let me just type that out, 20%, that's our first guideline. Then view, new guide again, horizontally again, we're going to go with 65 now. Percent. Okay, that's the bottom part, now we still need left and right. So again, view, new guide, and this time again, obviously vertical, because you're now going vertically again. And this is also 60, let's actually start with the left side, so that would be 35%. Okay, and then on the right hand side, we're also going to view, new guide, and going to add something more, which is 65%. Okay, great, amazing. There we have a little bit of a triangle kind of area. So in here, we're going to create now our background or background logo. Let's also, before we start doing that, actually start with the text so we can see a bit of how we play around with this. So I'm going to press T on the keyboard in order to go to the text tool. Make a nice big selection here. And first of all, I'm going to write now the title. So today it's going to be about Horizon. So I'm going to write out Horizon. Okay, copy all of that. And first of all, I'm going to change that to my font type. So here at the top, the font type, I'm going to go with Gotham Bold today. Okay, Gotham Bold. You guys can also find more about that in the description down below. Or if you find direct links, you can go to our Tronix Design Media Package and get it there. Great. So then again, let's select the size. It's going to be 75 pixels and character box over here to set the tracking a little bit. I'm going to go to a minus 80 for the tracking. So whoops also if you don't have the character box open here what you could do is go to window and select the character box over here okay something happened again my font is very small so let's change that back to 75 and hit enter great okay with the v tool on the keyboard i'm just going to move that into the center somewhere roughly here i'm controlling there onto the i all right and then 
next text tool again I'm going to make a nice selection and now we're going to write the slogan or for you a little title underneath whatever you want to so for me it's going to be triangle knights or something okay and let's also make that nice and small i'm going to first see if everything is written right nope there we go triangle Nights, nice. great. Select everything with Command A. Again, if you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, so Command A, select everything. And first of all, I'm going to choose a new font for this. So basically, I'm going to stay with the Gotham family. I'm just going to go with Gotham Light. Okay, font size should be around 15. And then my character here, the tracking should be again, yeah, I'll say 600. I'm going to make it a bit more, 640 and accept that from the top. Great. Take the move tool again or V on the keyboard as said earlier. Okay, and put that somewhere just a bit closer by. Okay, cool. Also, what I do have the feeling here, let me have a look at my old design. Yep, that is also great. It's still it looked a little bit darker, but it's not. Okay, let's go to the shapes. So basically, I'm going to press U on the keyboard or you can go here to the custom shape tool. And first of all, go to the library and select here my triangle. So, wow, you guys can see I have a ton of shapes. Again, if you want these shapes, just uh, subscribe to our Tronics Design Media Package and you will get every shape that we will ever use in this tutorial here. Okay, so select the shape, double click. What I will now do is just hold shift on the keyboard and we'll make a nice triangle here so basically it is equally expanding on all sides okay like so and first of all again the color is also black so I need to change that to white so my foreground colors here are set differently uh, maybe we can do the step again so I'm going to go to history I'm going to go to move one step back and first of all I'm going to choose uh, switch here my foreground colors so I'm going to switch that to white and now obviously my fill is also white here at the top so again select the shape Hold shift on the keyboard and drag this a little bit down so it's equally expanding. Okay, great, like so. Take the move tool and let's move that a little bit into the center. So it still looks a little bit small. Let's actually compare this to my first design. Yep, not entirely sure if that is exactly the size. Yeah, I can make it a bit bigger. Sorry guys, that is just my little reference there of checking how I did my previous design. Okay, so moving that back into the center, great. And we are good for now. Now, what I want to do is in the background, obviously have all of these lines here, as you guys can see, all the background lines. Okay, so what I will do is create a brand new layer here from the layer button downstairs. And I will also go to the marking tool on the left hand side and create a little bit of a line here. Let's make the line a little bit longer and a little bit thinner like so okay so that is basically a selection right here again M for the marking tool hit right click inside of the selection and I'm going to say fill fill this again with white foreground color okay press command D and get out of that selection again remember if you're a Windows person please press control now when I say command okay now I want to do rotate this a little bit so I'm going to press command T get into the rotate function here and I'm going to rotate it similar to the angle here say a 45 degrees angle to the triangle okay so I'm looking at this triangle as well hit enter and right away we have that great so now let's move this all the way down somewhere here maybe I'm going to start somewhere here because remember again we're going to delete a little bit of the X, the overspill from this. So this stuff here at the top and at the bottom will be deleted. So we can start here in the corner somewhere. Let me maybe start exactly in the corner. Okay. I'm now going to press command J. That is now my first layer obviously of the line. So press command J in order to duplicate this. Now press V on the keyboard, hold shift. And just with the left and right cursors you're going to move that line. So I'm going to tap now twice. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I think around eight I will stop. Okay, let's repeat that step again. Command J, duplicate the another layer, hold shift, and now eight times to the left side with the cursor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Great, so the spacing is exactly the same. Now let's compete that step. Command J, hold shift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and let's continue that process. Command J, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. Command J, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Command J, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more time. Command J, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. So now, right, we have exactly the same lines with the same distance. Only thing we need to do is delete the overspilling lines. Okay, so first of all, again, select all these layers here that we have created now. I'm going to hold shift again, select the first layer and the last. So all layers are selected. I'm going to click right click and say merge layers. So first of all, we have just one solid layer of this. And obviously, you can create whatever you want out of this. I'm going to press now P on the keyboard in order to get into the pen tool. I'm going to make an anchor point here in the corner, one at the bottom, one at the top again, and completing the path again. If you're also new to the pen tool, please have a look on the channel as a tutorial teaching you how to work with the pen tool. So yeah, super easy, just have a look. Again, I'm going to click in here, and we've now completed the path. I'm going to click right click and say make a selection. Great, zero feathering please, okay. But now remember we have selected the inside, so we need to select the outside because we're going to want to get rid of this spell. If we delete now, we will delete this area, all right? I'm just going to go step back in the history, marking tool, right click and say here select inverse. Again, I'm going to select the marking tool, right click, select inverse. Okay, so now we have everything that is spilling outside, we can delete that. Let me hit delete on the keyboard. And right away, da -da, you guys see it is now deleted. Okay, I'm going to press Command D one more time, get out of that and zoom a little bit out. And that's basically our design. So let's go to view, clear the guides and right away you see the cool shape behind it. So this is again your shape. You can also now go ahead and create a shape out of this. Or if you want, you can just obviously create this always from scratch. If you're too lazy to create this, all from scratch, have a look again in our Tronix Design Media Package. I have both shapes ready for you just to download and implement right away if you're too lazy to do this. Great. Okay, let's take both shape layers. I'm going to press Command G here and just write shape. Again, Windows users, please press Control when I say Command. Shape, layer, or just let's call it just shape. Then again, triangle and horizon, both of these with Command G. Put it together in a group and I'm going to write here text. Great. Then let's select shape. I'm going to make this take it a little bit further up just with the move tool, the whole group. And that's it. Yeah, guys. So a super easy tutorial how to do this. Again, remember, you can always now go back into the shape layer, back onto the shape layer and redesign or create something a bit similar or maybe delete a certain element. Maybe, for instance, you don't like this here at the top or you wanted to have another break in between. You can also do that, which looks quite funky. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for creating a super easy Horizon logo in Photoshop with a few simple techniques. Again, remember, you can also download all of this, the PSD background and the shapes in the Tronics Design Media Package, which is in the link down below in the description. If you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, then simply click on the subscribe button down below the screen and receive free Photoshop tutorials every single week. I know I haven't been here for quite a long while, but I'm back again just for you creating some new tutorials. So thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. See ya! So, you're still here and interested in some more tutorials? Then wait no longer, click right here or use the little info button to find the Tronics Design Media Package. See ya!